These little guys are just so cute. They're such good value for money, I must be honest with you. I love hyena cubs. Look at this little guy. He's going to now wait at the entrance for mom or for auntie. Say hello, hello, nod a bit, nod a bit. Yes, yes, hello, hello, hello. Can I smell you? <laughs> no? So obviously not. Some Something's different to this hyena than the last one. See if I can tell. By the way, I used to be quite good at telling male from female, but they're quite difficult with those appendages of theirs. They just got such fantastic body shapes for me. It's sort of like a sports car, you know. Sports car, there's no, there's no airs or graces about it. It's not going to fetch your kids from school or go and do fetch milk at the corner shop. It's not going to take your family on holiday. It's it, it's a racing car. These guys are like sports cars for me. They're just purpose built for endurance and power, and they're actually quite menacing. They they're big. That sloped hind quarters, or well, the overdeveloped shoulders, basically are a fulcrum, and it allows for a very rigid body shape and for a an endurance athlete who will rock around that fulcrum it also allows that sloped back and the, the smaller hindquarters very similar to the topi that james was showing you a little bit earlier it also have got that fulcrum design all the endurance antelope have got this design it also allows them to get their hound legs between their front legs and allows them to deploy that massive neck and head it's just all muscle and that allows them to rip apart carcasses and dismember carcasses it's not their primary job out here i mean they they are part of the cleanup crew i think that vultures between vultures and insects they do more carcasses than what what hyena could ever do um, but but Talon is just Palin is just uh commented on exactly what I was going to finish that statement off with. Hyena are, are they the most successful hunters out here? And I would like to say yes. I think that they're even more adaptable than what leopard are. They don't exist in the same, in the same environment. Actually, let me retract that. Leopard occur in more environments outside of the game reserves than what, uh, than what hyena do. Uh, in, in particular spotted hyena. They're absent from rural areas where leopard are quite comfortable in rural areas. Are they better hunters? I think so. They're better able to look after themselves when the bush is healthy and they're not in competition with man for resources? Again, I think so. Are they better than lion? Um, I also want to say I think so. They're, just, they're better able at, at utilizing a wider range of food is basically what I want to say. They can bolt down more. Lions bolt down about a quarter of their body weight in food at a given sitting. Hyena can do a third of their body weight. Lion can crunch through bones, but only when they're older. Hyena can utilize bones from when they're this age already, as soon as they can start cracking them open. Hyena will store carcasses in water for long periods of time to keep them fresh. You know, lion, if they can't eat the food that they've killed, it goes off or gets given to hyenas or gets given to vultures if they can't hold on to it. Lion are obviously better at killing much larger prey animals, but it only really comes into play at the buffalo and above level. I've watched hyena, four hyena kill an adult bull buffalo. So it's not like hyena can't kill buffalo. And clans of up to 50 hyena pull down buffalo every night in the Masai Mara and Serengeti ecosystems. I can hear more hyena in the distance. There's definitely something going on here. There's more hyena over there than there are that we can see. Aubrey, you'd like to know uh, if well, you, you've, you've, you've heard that hyena smell bad and, uh, and does it apply to static hyena? In other words, I suppose you're asking me if the hyena that we're looking at right now smell bad. Um, downwind of a hyena, they stink. They, they really have a, a, a unique smell a, a, um, to them. 
but so do lion and so do wild dog. They've also got a distinctive smell about them. Um, hyena will also lie up in puddles and when they get out their fur is all wet and then they smell even more. And when they've been rolling around in carcasses, they smell even more. Would I lick a hyena's fur? Not on your last day. I think I'll die immediately of septicemia. But that would go the same for a lion, same for a leopard. They carry a lot of bacteria on their skins uh, and on their fur. Um, would it make a difference whether they're walking or whether they're sitting next to you? No, I don't think so. I think I'm just, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm sitting upwind from them, luckily, uh, which is making all the difference for us now. We're going to wait for these hyena to come out and come play again. No, they have come out and come play again. But in the meantime, anyway, while, they do, while they're not doing something spectacular, we're going to see Jamie, who's managed to find another pride of lion today.